Hey guys, Christmas Eve. I'm out here in the garage for a little while and uh, just kind of waiting for uh, we go to some Christmas Eve parties later on today. And then so everybody Merry Christmas. And uh, I got uh, Classic Auto Reproductions uh, a couple months ago sent me some uh, skins, uh, real upholstery for my seats. If you remember, I showed you I showed you the box I got had everything, the seat covers, everything. So guess what? They're done. Uh, I was thinking about attempting it myself, but uh, guess what? You can stick your head up a bull's ass, but wouldn't you rather take the butcher's word for it? So we took it to an upholstery shop, and I got to show you, they turned out amazing. I can't wait to get them in. Uh, it's been a hectic couple of weeks since I finished painting the car, um, so I haven't had a chance to put much of it back together, but I did get all of the paper off and everything like that, so... Uh, I don't remember if I showed you that or not. So all the paper's off, and I'll tell you, take you around the car real quick. But uh, let's check out these seats. All right, check it out. So this car originally came with white Corinthian vinyl, okay? So these are the seat covers. They reupholstered the seats, and I got to tell you, now these are the Classic Auto Reproductions covers, which came beautiful everything i mean it fits now this is the original so it's a little off colored you know so i'll figure out what i'm going to do about that and uh so there's one seat now i am going to show you i'm going to tell you this is the one of the backs and as you can see it's pretty shitty these this type of plastic and everybody that has one of these knows that it gets kind of uh look it's real brittle. It gets brittle and it gets real fragile. You know, it's almost like you could scrape. Look, you can see me scraping into it. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with this. If anybody has any suggestions of what they've done, other than somehow make a new one or find a new one, find some nicer ones and paint them, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. I have another set of them that are blue from my parts car. Uh, they're a little nicer, actually, than the original white ones I had because these seats were rough. So, uh, if anybody has any ideas, uh, so let's check it out. These are the back seats. Now, mine has mine doesn't have the uh, two seats with the hump in the middle. The hump will just be carpeted, and uh, I didn't take this one out of the plastic yet. But, man, I'm telling you what, these covers are awesome. They turned out perfect. I cannot wait to get these in the car. Um, there's another seat. I mean, they just turned out, they just, they're great. They're like, they're brand new. Brand spanking new. So, uh, they turned out pretty awesome. And the carpet in here is that now the carpet's going to be black. Now you can see these are the wheels. I think I showed you before, but I didn't know. can't remember if I showed you with the wheels on the car. So, uh. Obviously, I haven't put much back together yet, but I did put the wheels on. Um, that's not going to stay red. That was just red already. Whoever had the car before me painted it. So now here's the other problem. The front end seems a little high. It's a little, it's, it's starting to look a little like a gas or the car sitting in the air in the front just a little too much. So I think is what we're going to have to do is I'd like to go with some tubular A-arms. If I can find, I should be able to find those. And I want to get some uh, coilovers for the front and drop it down. It needs to come down to about right here. Get that fender down at least to the tire. I think there's too much of a gap there. So uh, that's just my opinion. But you can see how nice and shiny this paint job turned out awesome. Uh, I'm really happy without the Targa band. I'm glad I didn't do it. And I think I've come to a decision that I'm going to, because look at this. See how nice and shiny this piece is? Look how dull this piece is. This piece will never shine again. Now, some pieces are a little shiny, and then look. Then you get one that's kind of dull, and then it goes dull here. So, I'm going to sand these, and I'm going to paint them all to match those wheels. They're all going to be like a charcoal-y kind of a color. So, I'm going to go around all the bezels around the lights, the bezels around the tail lights. Uh, now, the V8 emblem that goes on the front, I don't know if I'm going to paint that. I might leave that chrome. And I don't think I'm going to paint the Ford. Maybe I'll have to. If I paint everything else, 
um, and, and tell me, I don't know if, I, should I paint the door handles the same color as the trim? Or should I leave the door handles alone and the, and the key? So let me know what you think. I'm not sure. And I will show you on the T-top. This is supposed to be chrome, but look, it's kind of, uh, it's, it was really pitted when it was chrome. You know how that chrome kind of boogers up. So I sanded it down and I just sprayed some flat black on it. So I think when I paint all the trim, I'm going to go ahead and paint this the same. I'm going to try and fill some of this. I might have to put a little bit of putty in there and kind of smooth that out because that looks like hell. So we'll get this all smoothed out. And I think this is all going to be charcoal also. So uh, it's going to look pretty cool. And then obviously when I put the uh, trim back on the T-top, that will be charcoal that goes around here, those pieces. So if anybody's looking for a Targa band that is in excellent condition, the vinyl on it's perfect. The straps, the rubber, everything on it is 100% perfect. Um, I'm, I'm almost positive it's perfect. So if anybody's looking for the Targa band, now like I said, I have most of the clips that hold them chrome, that hold the chrome in. But like I showed you before in a video previously, I showed you how to make your own clips. So if you don't have any, then you can do it. So uh, I'm pretty happy. I'm, I'm glad I put these fender flares on. I really like them. And uh, hopefully next week, in be I don't know about the week between Christmas and New Year's, but after that, um, this thing will start. I'll be putting it all back together. And, uh, and then we're going to fire this thing up and listen to it rumble. I got headers for it. I got a brand new exhaust. Um, I don't think I'm going to need to, I don't know if, I got air shocks for this one like I do for the orange one. But these tires aren't quite as wide as the one on the orange car. So they're not really going to rub. They're pretty fat. I don't know if you can tell. But yeah, you can see they're pretty fat. But the way the spacing is on these rims, it fits in there perfectly. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, uh, the only thing, if anybody's looking to go with a race star rim, the only thing I did have to do is these holes, if you keep the four bolt, are not big enough to fit a, um, a wrench socket, a socket in there to turn the lug nuts. So I had to order sockets that were hollow and they have a key. So they fit the half inch on the other side and then it's got a key that goes in my socket and it fits in the other side like a... Uh, I don't know. I forget. It's a 16-point key, I believe. And it goes in there and it twists up. It works just fine. So, uh, if anybody if anybody has to go or wants to go with these type of wheels, regular lug nuts just ain't going to do it. you got to put those on there from my, from my experience. So, all right. So, I appreciate you watching. Uh, just a real quick little video. Um, just to give you something to look at over Christmas Eve. I know that's what you've been looking forward to is seeing me on Christmas Eve, and I appreciate that. So uh, if anybody's thinking about getting the uh, uh, seat covers for their car, I know they had several uh, several different ones. They even, believe it or not, they even have that that Scottish plaid that I have on the orange car. I'm pretty sure they, they have that too. And it's a little more expensive than it is for the vinyl. But I got to tell you, this vinyl turned out awesome. Uh, kudos to classic auto reproductions whoever the guy is that does their upholstery i'm pumped and uh the next couple videos you'll see this thing going back together and i'm telling you what it's going to be a head turner so uh i'll see you guys later merry christmas to everybody happy new year and uh be safe